Hello again viewers and welcome back to part two of the 2014 Toyota Corolla S uh, brake series. Uh, in the last episode, I'll have the link down below, uh, we did the front brakes with just a pad slap but fully reconditioning the, the caliper bracket, um, cleaning up everything. Now we're going to get into the, the back brakes. Here, get these loosened up. Two wrench method is necessary. And you're going to need to use a 17 millimeter on this bolt right here to hold that still. All right, once you get that bolt out, then you can go ahead and loosen up the bottom one some more. Same thing with the 17. Once you've got that loose enough that you can turn it by hand, I'll note in here how the piston, you got the four crosses in there. You have to have an opening at the top and at the bottom, side and side. Check your boot and all of the crusties off of there. Grab a little light brush. You can grab the brake cleaner, spray all around it. And then we'll use a toothbrush. Yeah, get all of that yuck in there off of the seal. One last good rinse. Alright. Now let that sit there and hang. This isn't this doesn't need to be hung up on a hook. It's not gonna go anywhere because of the parking brake line. And now we get to start working on. Okay. That pad moves. That one doesn't. It's a wee bit stuck. If you look, you see where that sharp, shiny metal is right there. And that's one of the places that it was stuck right there was stuck. You set shiny metal again right there, it's stuck. And right there was a little bit of pressure. But we got to make sure that those aren't stuck in the same spots again. Take out the two bolts in the back the caliper bracket.
get these clips out of here. from rust. Wow. I'm not getting cut on that. Hey, look at all that rust. Well, let's get the file and start cleaning that mess up. Surfaces in here cleaned up. I'm put some anti seize on them. Relube these pins.
strain. surfaces that we cleaned up. these things are seated properly. There we go. The squeeze goes down in there, it actually works good. Alright, now we get to put this back on. Take the bracket. Get up in its home. Take some blue Loctite again. Just a little bit, a little dab. Like that. Same thing with the other one. A dab like that doesn't really need much. Get the hair out of there. Top one, start it through the back. And search around a little bit to find the bolt hole. All right, now let's get these torqued down to 42 foot pounds. Now we gotta push the piston back.
that was nice and easy. Now let's push the piston back. Special tool. Winding that back. You take this, set it up in there. Let's see if I can get you an angle here. You can see what's going on. You got those four tines, they go in those four grooves. Make sure they're in all the way. And then tighten that up. Now the cable goes this way, so we're gonna turn this way to push the piston back in. We'll spray it with some silicone to make it easy for that to slide. This one turns the other way. Interesting. Usually they turn opposite from the brake, the brake, the way the brake cable pulls. So let me go get the right one. Let's try that again. Usually you'll find that if you try going one way with it, it doesn't go. You can't even see what I'm doing over here, can you? There we go. What I like to do is try to hold this piece right here while I'm turning it. And as you can see, that piston is going right down in there now. And it's bottomed. So now we need to find there's one of the marks. Now we gotta undo this and double check the piston is not quite where it needs to be. So we need to turn it just a little bit more so we can get these again straight. Go ahead and put your 
screws back in. And according to Toyota Nation, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, 25 foot pounds in the caliper pins. My torque wrench doesn't go down that low, so we're just gonna good and tight. Grab the, grab the 17 and hold bolt the pin still again. You gotta be careful too with your wrench that you got on the pin is when you get this outer bolt tight. You probably end up pinching this wrench in there, so be prepared. You know, just hold it just a little bit on the edge. And then same thing on the bottom. both good and tight. Put a little bit of double wrench action on here just to be sure. Yep. Yep. And, and I'll go pump the brake pedal up. back wheel back on and clean up all of this mess. to Toyota Nation, 76 foot-pounds of torque on the wheels, and we'll go ahead and pick up all these tools.
front brake pads, back brake pads. 2014 Toyota Corolla S, just a pad slap, no new rotors, but breaking down the calipers, cleaning them up, putting the hardware in, freeing up the pins, cleaning them up, regreasing the pins, putting them all back together, torquing all the bolts to spec, wheels back on, bump the brake pedal a couple times, make sure that you don't scare anybody the first time you drive, and if you guys like that, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more upcoming videos, go back and check out the video I have on the uh, tool giveaway, comment on that, so top comment will be uh, awarded that piston traction tool, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, don't forget, you got no more excuses, pick up those wrenches,